Hey guys, welcome back to the homestead here. We are continuing our uh, pig farrowing stall build and today uh, I'm going to be cutting all the 2x4s and framing in the remaining two walls and then uh, putting up some bracing for the roofing and then hopefully adding the strapping to the roof so I can actually attach the metal roof and then and the side walls will be framed in uh, to where I can add siding uh, to that and we'll be just that much closer to getting the fa uh, pig fairing all done so uh, just like you saw in the last video uh, I took my measurements up there for all my uh, two by fours I have ten in total and basically I just marked them one through ten up there wrote them down on my sh little piece of wood here for the measurements and then I've got my two by fours over here uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and cut I'm gonna go ahead and cut those up and then uh, take them up there and get them screwed in and attached um, and then I'll work on kind of framing out the pig door uh, as well as the kind of people door that will be on the side there I'm not sure which side I'm gonna put it on yet but we'll figure it out when hey we guys. get up <clears throat> all right so I've cut all my two by fours for these two walls here and uh, so I got them on the ground here I'm gonna go ahead and start attaching those and getting it framed in and then I'll move on to the pig door. Okay, so I've made my door height about at 36 inches. That should be plenty of space for Chloe to be able to get in here and we'll have enough top clearance okay. and then be wide enough for her to be able to go in and out pretty easily here. So I've made my marks at 36 inches. I'm gonna attach my top board here and then I'm gonna put some two by fours down as side supports for this top board. Here we 
here we go. All right, so we have finished framing out our walls all the way around. Um, we've made, uh, I'll show you here. We've got our pig door right there um, framed in and then we have an opening over here for a door, for a people door. And then uh, what we're gonna, what I'm doing now is for all these roof trusses here, I'm gonna put some blocking kind of uh, in between here so that going across to add some strength and a little bit of rigidity to the roof line uh, for snow load, but also for when we go to put roofing on. Um, I don't wanna have to worry about uh, anything kind of breaking or snapping. And when we're putting up the panels, if we do need to climb up there, uh, I want to make sure it's nice and strong. I don't feel like falling through the roof or falling through on any part of this. Uh, so we're going to make it nice and strong. If it holds me up, then it's good. So I'm going to go ahead and start putting the blocking in. Now, one of the things that I'm going to do is when I start putting this blocking in, I'm going to kind of stagger it as I go across that way I can get screws in from both sides and I'll be able to um, kind of alternate them this way so when I put my screws in I can screw it in from both sides on all the board and then I'll kind of widen the support space.
All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and start putting my roof strapping on so I can prepare for putting on the, the roofing panels. Um, just gotta get this first one tacked, screwed into place, and then I'll be able to measure all the rest for the, for the rest of the roof rafters going down. Um, I've got about six strapping pieces that are gonna go across. They're 12 feet long. Uh, the structure itself is about 10 feet. So ideally we should have a little over a foot on each, we should have about a foot on each side because I think it's not quite 10 feet, but anyway, we should have at, at least a foot, if not a little bit more overhang on each side. So the roofing will come out a little bit and that'll provide some protection for the siding. So. I think we've reached our stopping point for today. I've got all the walls framed in, the door, and all the roof strapping is complete. <laughs> um, we're actually gonna be ready for roof panels here. So hopefully tomorrow, we'll get up there and we'll get all the roof panels, metal roofing put on, and then we'll be ready for siding and making the two doors. Uh, the people door and the pig door so i think this is where we're going to stop the video for today thank you guys for following along don't forget to like comment subscribe and i'm still learning this construction stuff so i haven't gotten it all figured out yet but if you guys have any tips or anything that you notice with the build that you might say hey i think you might want to add this here or you might want to try doing this a different way please drop a comment and just kind of let us know what you see or what you think or anything you might see to uh, improve what we've got going here. So anyway, you guys are the best. Thanks for following along. We'll catch you on the next one.